Kalonda says the work is going on smoothly, though not at the faster pace given the upcoming rain season, where it is always difficult for residents and visitors to travel through the island due to mud. The VDC chairperson says at the completion of the road, all residents of Impalila will be relieved from the difficult and muddy terrain during the rain season to the clinic and other essential services institutions. The road's construction is progressing well. We can all see the development. They are very busy. Our only concern is that not all 150 people have been employed as per the earlier promise. We are still waiting for that number to be met. We expect that in all the 52 villages on the island, each village should at least have someone employed. Now there are about four to six villages where no one is employed. He is happy that tourists have started going to the island in bigger numbers, especially after the clearing of the airstrip, and he's hopeful that investors will also follow suit. Aircraft are now landing, bringing tourists. We anticipate that after the complete completion of the airstrip, more tourists will be coming because previously they only depended on Botswana. Now, even when borders are closed, as during COVID-19, tourists can just come straight here and land here, whether from South Africa or whichever country they are from. Kalonda has appealed to government in partnership with the private sector institutions to bring more services to the island, especially shops. The Impalila residents further appreciate civil registration at the island that is now taking place from Monday to Friday as there is an employee stationed there. Kalonda is just concerned that the employee operates from the police building while a plot was availed for the office building years back. Residents are appealing to government to also extend the rural electrification project that so far is benefiting a few villages while the rest who are beyond the 500-meter radius from government institutions and churches are yet to benefit. Kalonda emphasizes that given the isolation of the area, there is need to prioritize some projects for residents not to depend from foreign countries for services.